Welcome. Scott here. Today I am bringing you another Black Clover mobile video. In this video, I will be covering on the upcoming story mage, Third Eye Disloyal Rhea. I will address him as Third Eye Rhea throughout the video. In general, Third Eye Rhea is a technique attribute type attacker. He will do more extra attack damage upon landing a critical hit on the target. He has a unique passive that grant him special buffs or effects depending on the mage class of the partner mage that is partnering him. His skill 1 is a single target attack that copies two of the target's buffs and extend any active counter attack buff that is active on him. His skill 2 is an AOE attack that inflicts electrocute continuous instance damage. With his skill page the ability can remove all buffs on the designated target. His special is a single target attack that deals additional effect depending on his partner mage. I will cover more on that when I am going through his skills. His combo attack with the partner mage will inflict a concentrated attack debuff while granting him and the partner mage a counter attack buff for a turn. With his passives, it helps to improve his survivability and damage potencies. His LR passive will only activate depending the mage class that you partner him with. The effect will activate on the start of Rhea's. When partnering with a defender mage, Rhea will gain a 10% reduced damage taken buff for a turn. When partnering with an attacker mage, Rhea will gain a 30% increased damage dealt buff for a turn. When partnering with a supporter mage, Rhea will gain a 50% mobility buff. When partnering with a debuffer mage, Rhea will gain a plus 3 SP buff. When partnering with a healer mage, Rhea will gain a barrier buff that equates to 100% of his attack stats. At LR plus 2, his damage will increases depending on the number of buffs present on the opposition team. For every buff, he will gain 5% increased damage dealt. If there are 8 buffs on the opposition, he will gain 40% increased damage dealt buff. At LR plus 5, on top of increased damage dealt buff per buff present on the opposition, Rhea will gains immortality buff when his HP drop to 30%. If counter attack is active on him, he will gain 40% increased critical rate and 15% reduced damage taken buff for a turn. As he is a PvP specialist mage, the skill page is vital for him. The skill page will allow him to gain damage boost for his extra attack mechanics upon landing a critical hit and enhance his skill too to have buff removal utility. Please do note that buff removal does not remove immortality, invulnerability, and unique buffs like Black Divider Astus Desperate and Black Astus Anti-Magic buff. For gear sets, the standard attacker mage gear sets work for him which includes advanced attack, advanced speed, advanced critical rate or advanced critical damage. If you have lots of max transcended gear, you can go for the 2 attack piece with 6 small attack piece set up with focus on advanced speed and advanced attack gear pieces. As his kit revolves dealing critical damage, having close to 100% critical rate is the minimum requirement to use him effectively. So should I pull for him? In my opinion, there isn't a general consensus on whether to pull for a unit. It really depends on whether you are a free to play or having a vast roster already. To be dominant in PvP, you need to have good gear sets, max talent wheels and high skill enhancements. Similar to all the recent mages, Third Iria needs max enhancements for his immortality buff which is only unlocked at LR plus 5. If you can afford, his skill page can enhance to boost his extra attack damage. Rhea core stats is mainly attack so an attacking gear set with attack as the primarily gear set is preferred. He is heavily dependent on critical damage for his extra attack mechanics, thus having high critical rate and critical damage. He can be fun to play as he gains additional mechanics depending on mage class that you are partnering him with. However, for that work, you will also need a lot of investment on his partner mage. I will go over it when I am discussing the possible team comps that Rhea could work with. You need to have an established roster mages and most of the technique attribute mages will work well with him in general. Before I proceed to talk about his kit. Let me briefly explains the fundamentals of building a good team comp. In general, every good team comp needs a balanced set of characters playing their various roles. 
To be honest, bringing a full team of attacker mages won't get you to clear end game content. With the necessary enhancements and gear equipped, Third Iria is a good attacker mage who can deal extra attack damage upon leading a critical damage. You can pair him with critical rate buffers like Spatial Mage Finral, Sally or Party Kahano. But latter two won't be feasible for PvP, thus it will be more ideal to have gear with high critical rate equipped on him. Being an attacker mage, skills upgrade is very important. Even at level 2, you can see exponential increase in the skill damage potencies. To upgrade the skills, you need to use will shards. Will shards can be brought at the world regional shops monthly. If you upgrade your world reputation to level 2, you will unlock the option to buy the highest tier upgrade material. If you haven't done so, I will suggest you to start leveling up the reputation level by doing bond patrol or memory hall fights for that specific world. You can also get skills upgrade materials at your squad shop if you have joined a squad. You can buy them daily with guild metal. So try to level up and join a guild. If you have spending power, you can buy skills enhancement chests at the premium black crystal shop. Now let me go through his skill set. His skill 1 light and darkness is a single target attack that will copies 2 buffs of the target and extend any active counter attack buff present on Rhea by a turn. If the attack lands a critical, he will inflicts an extra attack damage that scales of 70% of both his attack and magic attack stats. Enhance the skill will boost its damage potencies. His skill 2 water and lightning is an AOE attack that will inflict a stack of electrocute continuous damage instance for 2 turns. If the attack lands a critical damage, it will deals extra attack damage that scales off 80% of the total of Rhea's attack and magic attack stats. Enhance the skill will boost its damage potencies. If you have his skill page equipped, the ability remove all buffs on the designated target. Do take note that buff dispel doesn't remove unique buffs, immortality, and invulnerability. Electrocute continuous damage will deal 10% of Rhea attack and magic attack on the target whenever the target takes its turn. His special elf's wrath is another single target attack ability. If the attack lands a critical, Rhea will deal extra attack damage that scales of 170% of Rhea's total attack and magic attack stats. The attack will inflict a special debuff depending on the partner mage. It will inflict immortality removal when Rhea is partnered with a defender mage. It will inflict barrier removal when Rhea is partnered with an attacker mage. It will inflict 50% reduced mobility when Rhea is partner with a supporter mage. It will inflict SP-3 debuff when Rhea is partnered with a debuffer mage. It will inflict barrier immunity for 2 turns when Rhea is partnered with a healer mage. Enhance the skill will improve his damage potencies. His combined attack is a single target attack that inflicts the concentrated attack debuff for a turn and grants him and the partner mage a counter attack buff. Concentrated attack debuff will guarantee all attacks on the target to be a critical hit attack. Generally, he has a very flexible kit and you can have various variation by just simply changing his partner mage. You can use his skill 2 to constantly refresh his electrocute continuous damage debuff while skill 1 to extend any counter attack buff if you pair Rhea with mages that provide counter attack like Clover Academy Charlotte or Ceremony Luck. In general, do make an effort to invest and upgrade his skills damage potencies. Being a damage dealer, Third Iria will need these upgrades as this is the norm for all attackers. Now let's cover on his skill page. His skill page is a skill page that is designed exclusively for units with extra attack mechanics. The skill page is important for him. Upon doing an extra attack, there is a 50% chance that Third Iria will gain 40% increased damage dealt buff with the attack. At max enhancement, you can increase the activation rate to 100%. For every upgrade on the skill page, you will get 10% increased in the activation chance. Being an attacker, the attack boost is quite significant. Unless you are targeting the upper leagues and have big spending power, I won't recommend you to chase too hard for dupes of the skill page. You can end up hurting your resources to pull for the upcoming units. Similar to most attackers, if you don't have their skill page, 
you can use skill page that focus on raising their damage potencies. For skill page replacement, you can use base fauna skill page or breath of darkness, the free SSR skill page that you get at the start of the game. Alternatively, you can also consider Lepald skill page or mysterious book skill page as alternate budget options. Now let's cover on his talents. To understand what is the best talent settings, you need to know the mage's role. Third Iria's primary role is a an attacker mage. In PvE, fighting a prolonged battle won't benefit him a lot, so you want to kill off the opposition or deal as much damage possible once he uses his special. For his attack talent will, I would suggest giving him the increased critical damage and sharp mind which boost both critical damage and total damage dealt potencies. For carved stone, you can use destruction talent stone. If you are using third area for PvP content, the battle frenzy and increased attack passives will be more favorable. Attack Talent Stone is also preferred for PvP as the enemies you are facing in PvP usually have high critical resistance stats that will offset against your critical rate stats. For the Defense Talent Wheel, I recommend you to go for the increased critical resistance talent, which gives him a 10% boost to his critical resistance and Iron Will Talent, which will grant him debuff immunity for a turn if his HP drop to 30% and below. This will prevent opposition units from inflicting debuffs that weaken him with reduced damage debuffs or prevent him from getting turns with reduced mobility or mobility depletion debuffs. In the support talent wheel, you can choose the increased damage resistance for the 10% damage reduction. For the other talent, you can pair it with either mage's blessing or increased accuracy or penetration. Mage Blessing allows him to have a 20% chance of cool down his skill too which could allow Third Iria to refresh his AoE Electrocute continuous damage instances or applying more stacks. You can also opt to use increased accuracy and penetration to enhance his damage potencies. Penetration stats is good for attackers. Whenever your mage attacks, a certain portion of the target's defense is ignored when damage is dealt based on the character's penetration stat. On the other hand, accuracy will helps to boost Rhea's survivability as it allows him to have higher chance of damage reduction activation. Personally, I would recommend the Mage's Blessing over increased penetration and accuracy. This setup strikes a good balance, considering Rhea's flexibility with kits and abilities. For Carved Stone, I will prioritize on giving him Speed Stone, since Rhea will increase his speed fast enough to kill off key opposition mages before they do harm to your party. If you use a mage who can provide total defense like Fate of Thread Vanessa or Clover Academy Charlotte, I will suggest you to go with resolution with increased accuracy and penetration talent instead. When total defense buff is active with this support talent, Rhea will be immune to debuffs. If you intend to bring third Iria for PvP and endgame PvE content, it is highly recommended that you max out all his talent wheels. Generally, you want to target for advanced gear sets pieces. Third Iria is an attack stats based mage. Do be prepared that we are going to get a lot of attack stats based mages in the future. So it is a good time to start building them if you haven't done so. Similar to other attacker mages, you will go with either 3 small attack and 4 large attack piece or 6 small attack and 2 large attack piece setup. The second set will require full set of max transcended gear pieces. For the gear sets, you can consider the following. The ominous gear set is the most important gear sets that you want to equip on Rhea since it will boost both his attack and magic attack stats by 7%. You will always want third Iria to be a fast moving unit, so he can constantly inflict heavy damage on opposition targets. Thus giving him advanced speed set gear pieces is important for PvP. If you pair him with a supporter mage as his partner, he will be taking his turns faster than the opposition. The last gear set pieces can be either boosting his critical rate or critical damage. As a general rule of thumb for any attacker mage gear, you will want to have as high critical rate and critical damage stats for the mage when they equip the gear. Boosting critical rate is important for Rhea since he needs to deal critical damage to trigger his extra attack mechanics. 
Third Iria is quite versatile with a lot of potential builds due to his special passive mechanics depending on the mage that you are partnering him with him. For example, if you pair him with debuffer mage, you can use the millionaire luxury item attack gear pieces to boost his speed since he will be using his special faster. You can also give him the meticulous tailor to boost his SP refill utility if you pair him with SP refiller mages like Valkyrie Noel or Party Mimosa. If you set him in a counter attack setup, you can give him the nostalgia of grief attack gear pieces. For gear substats, attack percent, critical rate percent and critical damage percent are top 3 priority substats. To get his attack to beyond 45,000, heavy enchantment and almost double attack percent on every gear piece is needed. For a unit that relies on critical rate hits, there won't be any budget build. So be prepared to spend a lot of enchantment stones to continuously upgrading his gear's critical rate. Compared to before, we have more means of getting enchantment stones. If you have extra black crystals to spare, do look out for Charmy Secret Shop which will be released in limited time. In the shop, you can buy 10 legendary enchantment stone boxes for 1200 black crystals. However, as the banner is coming near, it is advisable that you don't spend all of your resources on the shop. So remember to do it in moderation. As we are close to over 4 months since Gear Transcendence is introduced, players will start to sacrifice the third synergy bonus by using 3 more small attack pieces. The rationale for doing this is that you will gain additional 5 substats to improve your mage. 7 full transcended gear piece set will give you 35 substats while 8 full transcendence gear pieces will give you 40 substats. Lots of players who have spending power are enchanting the substats with attack percent as the transcended substats so they can boost the attack to above 40k. Building these type of gear sets requires lot of yul, gear pieces duplicates, enchantment stones, and substat changing stones. So do your accumulation of the required resources first before you start to building your attacking gear for these setups. Until you get all gear pieces to max transcended, it will still be more beneficial to use the 4 large attack and 3 small attack piece setup with 3 gear synergy boost. So what are the team comps that you can run with 3rd Iria? To be honest, the team comp seems to be pretty limited. With the release of Black Divider Asta, Every PvP team comp that you use needs to have two of three of the following basic utility, Immortality, Immortality Removal, and Invulnerability. Thus, you need to use mages that gives these utility. Units that has Immortality Removal are Valkyrie Armor Noel, Spirit Dive Yuno, Fate of Thread Vanessa, Swimsuit Yuno, and Zora. Units that can give Invulnerability to allies are Fate of Thread Vanessa, Valkyrie Noel, and Geldra. Units that have self invulnerability buff are Secret Agent Zora and Spirit Dive Yuno. With his special partner passives or enhancements, Rhea can gain these important utilities. To get immortality, Third Iria needs to get his LR plus 5 enhancement or max enhancements. Once you gotten the passives, he will get immortality once his HP drop to 30%. This is activate once per battle. If you don't have him at LR plus 5, you need to think of ways to make him survive. Level 125 Transcendence is a must if you intend to use him in PvP. When partnering with a Defender Mage, Rhea has Immortality Removal on his special. However most of the time, you will probably use him to do the damage to trigger the Immortality Threshold of the target. So the Immortality Removal utility needs to be paired in the subsequent turn. On the screen you can see some sample of possible PvP team comps with 3rd Iria. With the introduction of 3rd Iria, running a mono blue team comp becomes feasible again. You can use the team comp of him, Party William, Clover Academy Charlotte and Zora. You can pair him with Party William so you have 2 immortality removal utility for the team with one via using 3rd Iria's special while the second one via combo attack with Zora. As Rhea benefits a lot with counter-attack mechanics, Party William and Clover Academy Charlotte will form a decent trio on the setup. Party William can provide passive healing if you have his skill page. To guarantee the activation of the counter-attack buff, 
Charlotte needs her special to have max enhancements. If you get her to LR plus 5, the counter-attack buff that she provides will be 2 turns. This will ensure that the party will always be in constant counter-attack mode. If you have gotten Zara to level 125, he can trigger SP1 reduction when he is attacked other than gaining HP pool boost which is essential to make him effective. There are two possible variants with either partnering Ryu with Party William or Clover Academy Charlotte. Partnering Ryu with Party William will allows his special to gain immortality removal and he get 30% reduced damage taken buff. The combo attack will also have a decent chance of inflicting AoE stun on the opposition. Partnering Ryu with Clover Academy Charlotte will gives Ryu an 50% increased mobility buff when he takes a turn while his special will inflict 50% reduced mobility. If you want to use him with Valkyrie Noel, you can go with Valkyrie Noel, Party Mimosa, with Ceremony Charlotte, Geldra, or Fate of Thread Vanessa as the last member. Valkyrie Noel can provide invulnerability buff via the combo attack and has immortality removal if she has 4 stacks of Sea Dragon Spear. Geldra and Vanessa can provide invulnerability buff with their special. If you are using Geldra, it is important to note that his invulnerability buff will be applied to the unit with the current lowest HP, so you might want to manipulation the HP pool of the units to set Rhea with the lowest HP before you start of the fight. Party Mimosa plays the important role of SP refill and resurrection. It is highly recommended to give the healer gear setup which consists of the full flourishing green gear set with the abandoned friend's small magic attack and HP piece. The gear pieces can be obtained via the advanced blue gear dungeon. If you have pulled for spatial mage Finral, you can go with mono 3 blue team comp of him, 3rd Iria, Clover Academy Noel and Zora. Finral needs his LR plus 2 passives for speed boost and Clover Academy Noel will need her max enhancements to unlock the game's most powerful passive heals. Clover Academy Noel will need her skill page as it will give attacker mages a 10% HP boost passive along with status ailment removal on her skill too. Zora is being used as the last member for his reflection trap and immortality removal via his combo. These strategy will heavily reliant on speed passives and most probably everyone in the team comp needs high grade speed stones for the team comp to work. As third Iria is our second electro Q debuffer, you can make use of Gray's dot extension mechanics. Both Noel and Gray needs their max enhancements to be effective for the team to work. With this, I have come to the end of the guide. Hopefully, the video provide you greater insights on third Iria. If you like the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel so that I can deliver more Black Clover mobile content for you. Good for your polls when 3rd Iria banners is released in the coming days. Have a nice day and bye.